Hello guys, welcome to Jira training. In this session, we will learn about Jira projects and how to create Jira project in Jira software. So before we actually go ahead and start with the demo, let's understand what exactly a Jira project means in Jira software or any other Jira application or Jira products. So a Jira project is just a collection of issues in a layman term a collection of issue is known as project in Jira. It is a single place to manage all your work. Then every project has a workflow. So as a project is a collection of issues and issues need to be moved from initiation to completion, from start to finish. And to to move the issues from start to finish, there has to be some underlying workflow or process that needs to be followed for those issues. So, for example, in agile development methodology, a story will have a certain process to follow until it's moved to done or it, it uh, fulfills the definition of done. Similarly, for any other task or any other issue type like bug, it has to follow a certain workflow before it is closed or before it is called as done. So there is every project has a workflow in Jira. Then what, what teams use? I mean, why do teams use project and what are the different versions or different flavors of project available in Jira products. So teams use project um, to manage software delivery. So software development teams will be using projects to deliver the software, to, to code, build the software and release the software. Then there might be other scenarios wherein there is an IT help desk uh, using Jira core to manage the IT help desk, right? So for which Jira service desk product is utilized. Then a marketing campaign project can be also made or a project, a team can use Jira project to manage marketing campaign, right? which is supported in Jira core version of the project, uh, of the product, Atlassian product. Then you can have a project to manage HR operations, which is another Jira core uh, functionality, right? Then what are the different types of projects available in Jira? So before we actually go ahead and see different Jira product projects, let's see what are the different Jira applications available? What are the product offerings from Atlassian for, for Jira? So the first is the Jira software, which is combination of Jira core as well as Jira Agile. It, it supports software development or Agile development methodology along with the Jira Core feature. Then the second one is Jira Core. So if, if you have installed only Jira Core, then it will give you a business uh, capability or to manage the projects which are only relevant to other business units and not the software development projects. Then the third one is Jira Service Desk, which is more relevant for the IT help desk sort of projects. So let's see, Jira software is ideal for software development projects, like development of new software applications or apps, any iOS, um, Android apps, or any other uh, typical software development project. Then Jira Core is ideal for business projects. So for example, HR team can use Jira Core for employee onboarding or finance team can use it for managing procurement processes. So Jira Core is ideal for business projects. And Jira Service Desk, which is another offering from Atlassian, is ideal for any help desk applications. So for example, IT help desk can use Jira Service Desk to manage the, uh, manage the uh, SLAs and other issues being raised by the um, employees within within the organization. 
then what makes up a Jira software project? So let's see what are the components that make up a software project. First thing is the users. The team members within the project are the first component for the software project, Jira software project. Then it's the issues. So as we, as we discussed that a project is a combination of issues. So issues is, is the another uh, key thing which makes up a software project. So in, under issues, it can be a story, it can be bug or tasks, subtasks that are another component of software project. Then the underlying workflow or the process to move those issues from start to finish. So process for each task or the workflow is another part of a software project. Then comes the versions. So as in agile development methodology, the key thing is to release working software in, in you know, like incremental form and do releases pretty quickly. So versioning of the work that you have allocated for another one or two months or three months is another feature or another, you know, like um, component that is part of the Jira software project. So you bundle up the issues or the stories that you want to release as say, for example, version 1.0, you, you took 10 stories and then you are targeting those 10 stories as version 1.0 to release in another three months. So that's sort of versioning that is that also makes uh, that is part of the Jira software project. Then comes the components. So in software development, you have different components like database, um, UI, middleware. So all those different segregation within the software is is the component that makes up the Jira software project as well. And the last thing is the data that is used for reporting on the project status so when you when you create the user story or when you create the bug you input the values within those uh, when, when you are creating those uh, issues so the data that is stored for those key issues is makes up your reporting or it's utilized for the reporting uh, for reporting of the project status so the, these are the key components or the key things that make up your, up your Jira software project. And now let's go ahead and see how you can create a Jira software project in uh, Jira application. So I have already logged in into the Jira application. So I have installed Jira software, which comes with Jira core as well as Jira agile. So to, in order to create a project, you just need to go um, at Jira home and then click on the drop down under, under projects, you will see create project, All right? Just click on it and create project pop-up will open. And here you will see that it has business um, section as well as the software section so business section is what we were talking about the jira core functionality uh, which is available along uh, with the jira software and under the software you see scrum software development kanban software development and basic software development templates available right so these are all the templates so the Scrum software, Kanban software development, and basic software development are the templates provided out of the box from Atlassian, from Jira software. And similarly, under business, you see project management, task management, or process management are the templates available as part of the Jira core. Okay, so in order to create any project, um, you just need to select the template that you wish to apply so for example if you want to create a software project just select the template that you want to use and hit next and we'll ask for which 
so basically the default you know like the issue types that are available and then the workflow and then just select what you want to create and it will ask for the name of the project and key will automatically be set so before i go ahead and create the actual project i'll explain a few more things on this template here um, so you can see at the bottom there is a create sample data link and then create with shared configuration so create sample data is something so for example this is an evaluation version of the software so if you want if you don't want to, to create an empty project if you're not doing the actual production deployment um, or, or production um, copy of project creation then just create a project with sample data so you don't have to create all the issues or the sample records uh, stories and defects to to learn around or uh, browse around the software um, second thing is uh, you can create a project with a shared configuration what that means is if you have an existing project already in your instance of Jira then you can create a new project with all those shared configuration right so shared configuration could be so there will be in like configuration shared for the workflows issue types and all other um, other uh, few more things that are uh, that could be shared within the project what that means is if you share those configurations then in future if you are changing the configuration then all the projects which are sharing those configurations so for example today you are using a workflow a simplified workflow or, or customized workflow for this project my sample project and I create a new project using this configuration and two months down the line I change the workflow to something customize it I change some of the um, uh, things in the workflow then the new project that will be created will also have the customized or the or the uh, modified workflow so that's that's a bit of you know like uh, there are a few pros and cons in creating a project with the shared configuration uh, the third thing is you can import a project right so jira allows you to import project it supports lot of import wizard from the existing applications so for example you can import from CSV or Microsoft Excel and other products like Rally, Bugzilla if you have a project which is which is in Bugzilla for your bug tracking you can select and import all the bugs into Jira as well so that's the third option available in Jira for project creation right so let's go ahead and create a scrum software development project so i have selected scrum software development i'll create a blank project without any sample data or shared configuration so the, so that we can customize the configuration in future if we want without impacting my existing project which is my sample project so i'll select scrum software development click next and it says it will have these issue types bug tasks subtask story epic and the workflow will be the simplified workflow and just select that and i'll say test project and just so you can see the key here you can change the key if you want want to so i'll say tpp and submit and please note that only Jira administrator can create new project right so you can see the project got created and along with that the Jira board or um, the agile you know like TPP board got created as well when you have no issues at all because I created a blank project so it, it doesn't have anything at all except the default you know like configuration the workflow um, and stuff like that so th this is all about basic 
understanding or basic about project in Jira and how you can create project in uh, in the Jira software. So in, in the next session, we will learn more around, you know, like roles and responsibilities, roles, groups for the for the Jira project. Thank you.